Happy Monday, stampers. All right, get all my windows closed here and the right things open. It looks a little different behind me this Monday as you're popping on. Let's see, I see some people watching. Let me make sure my comments are working this time. Hi, Rachel, first commenter. Thanks for joining. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is the first week of the fishing opener here in Wisconsin, and I am in the North Woods at my parents' cabin uh, up in Phillips, Wisconsin. You can see I am celebrating with this Walleye Opener 2021 sweatshirt. I have been having a blast fishing with my dad and my husband and super excited to be up here all week doing some fishing in the morning, working remote during the day, and more fishing in the evening. But you know that we stampers cannot travel, especially when we're relaxing, without stamping. It's one of our favorite pastimes. So of course, I had to bring my stamping stuff to stamp with all of you. I see tons of you popping on. Hello, Sharon and Vicki and Debbie, Gloria, Rhonda. Oh my goodness, so many of you watching. I'm so glad you could join me tonight. I'm playing with new product. Um, I am a little bit less organized than I usually am um, tonight, and there is a lot going on. There's a ton of stuff starting tomorrow. So much stuff that I have a list to remind myself. Sandy's glad I'm enjoying myself. You know, it's really relaxing up here. Um, so speaking of which, I am going to share with you guys some tips tonight for those of you who travel and how you can do your stamping when you are on the road that I hope will be helpful. Tonight I'm stamping um, what I like to call shoebox style. So out of a shoebox for the cards that I'm going to make um, and super, super excited to share some of those tips with you. <clears throat> so um, remember, as you're popping on to say hello, many of you are doing that. And also, if you could take a minute and tell me where you're from, one of my favorite things to do is read the comments after I am done and see where everyone is watching from. And I'm about to do prizes here and everyone asks me how they can get in on the prize drawing. Well, you need to share my video. And here's the thing, Facebook has changed so many of their algorithms and their security settings that um, it's hard for me to see who has shared my video. So in the description of this video, you can see that I have created a hashtag that you can use when sharing my video. In order to be entered for the prize drawing, you need to share it with the hashtag country cards by Rose live. I've got that hashtag up above so that you will remember. And as I transition and you can see my stamping space, it'll be on the bottom so that you can remember. So for those of you who are sharing, make sure that you use that hashtag. When I use that hashtag, I'm going to be able to see that all of you shared. All your names will go in the drawing, and we will uh, go from there. Just a reminder that my prizes are for U.S. residents only, um, and I think that we should talk about prizes right now. So <clears throat> remember last week we made these vellum envelope cards? We have this together forever always and the fun one with this acetate the fine art floral bundle and then of course this gorgeous one using the new hand pen these three cards are my first prize of the night and they are for likes and um comments and let me see where i wrote this down the winner of that is maureen wheatley maureen i do not have your address. So congratulations on my blog, www.rosegrunewald.com. Across the top, there's a link that says prize claim form. If you could fill that out, I will get these in the mail to you, but I have to be honest, they won't go out till next week because I'm fishing. So you know how that goes. Um, sharing. The next prize for sharing. Um, I have a pack of the six by six Oso Ombre Designer Series paper. This is a full pack. And um, this is from Celebration. So you can't get it anymore from Celebration. 
Um, and this is for sharing. The winner is Christine Brady O'Hearn. So Christine, again, I need your address. If you could fill out that prize claim form, that would be awesome. Okay. I'm going to flip the camera around so we can get to stamping. And I have to turn on a light here so there isn't so much shadow. This is gonna help, I hope, a little bit. Okay, so um, actually, the first thing I wanna do is tell you that I am stamping with the color and contour bundle. Let me move some of my stuff out of the way. So we've got dies and we've got a stamp set. Remember how I said I'm stamping shoebox style tonight? I've got all my stuff in these boxes. So here is our color and contour bundle that we are stamping with tonight. This goes live in our new catalog tomorrow. You can start filling out the pre-order form already today. I have that ready to go for you. Also tomorrow, there are a couple of new promos starting. So we've got a join promo from Stampin' Up. Now, for those of you who follow Stampin' Up, you know that these promos do not happen very often where they add even more goodies to that starter kit. They are adding another 30 bucks for your goodies. So um, starting tomorrow, if you want to become a discount shopper, you pay 99 bucks and you get $155 worth of product. This promo is going on till the end of May. So just for the month of May only. And it starts um, tomorrow, yep, the 4th. The other thing going on is connect, craft, and collect with an extra $25 of stamp and rewards for hosts and hostesses. Um, for the month of May, going until the middle of June here, um, May 4th through June 14th. And um, for that, once you hit 250, boy, it's really hard to see on my screen, guys. Sorry about that. You'll get an extra $25 in rewards. Now, you can use these rewards towards your starter kit. And if you have questions about that, just let me know. The other thing I want to remind you of is May 15th. I'm doing a fabulous catalog kickoff. Five fabulous days of catalog kickoff fun. We're going to start it out with a With my class to go that is kicking off tomorrow, we um, are going to make some cards that you're gonna be able to use with some of your leftovers. All right, so let me get my workspace situated here so I have room to grab all the things we need. The first tip I'm gonna show you, by the way, about stamping while you're traveling is for cleaning your stamps. So many of you have baby wipes, especially if you are campers to just clean up and kind of do those bird bath showers. My first tip for you is to use these baby wipes to clean your stamps. So I've just got a little um, disposable plate here and some of these wipes. I'll set these on here and this will be my chamois while we're stamping here to keep my stamps clean. I'm gonna move that to the side. The next tip I have for you in traveling as we get ready to stamp here tonight is to buy the bundle of blocks that come in this traveling carry case. This thing is awesome. It is so super easy to close and open and reuse. And so I'm gonna get this ready to go. Now, like I said, I am stamping shoebox style. So what I have done is taken all of the supplies that I need to make my card and put it in these stacking bins. So, of course I got my dimensionals and I've got some other cards. I'll show you those after we make this one. 
and our adhesive. I already pre-cut our layers um, so that I could just stamp. I am going to need a scissors. Okay, now I did notice that I forgot my chamois, but we're going to improvise and use a pack of designer series paper as a little cushion because these are photopolymer stamps. So our first card is going to be a sweet and simple card. You know that I love my simple cards. I have got the new in color evening evergreen here and this is just a half a sheet of cardstock so it's five and a half by eight and a half. I didn't grab my bone folder either so hopefully I can get these creases nice and straight. Oh Carol says the blocks and the carrying case is one of the best purchases she made with Stampin' Up. I have to tell you Carol that I use mine all the time like all the time. So I would have to agree with that. Okay, I'm gonna use this to do some stamping. This is a pack of the uh, 2021, the new um, in color designer series paper. You get a half a pack of this in my class to go. So um, you're getting to see it as the background when I stamp tonight. All right. I need a stamp for my flower. Like this. And I'm going to need a stamp for the flower petals. And a stamp for our sentiment. Super easy. What do you guys think of this travel case? I absolutely love it. <laughs> Joan got hers at a garage sale for five bucks. Well, let me tell you, Joan, that was quite the deal. And I bet it was worth every penny of those five bucks. All right. I'm actually going to switch this around. Put this one here. I'm getting all my stamps mounted right now for our first card so that um, I have to keep going back here. Okay. Now, I have got an inside layer, so um, let me do some stamping on that first. I'll grab my evening evergreen stamping pad here. And let's just stamp, use the pad from the block case. I totally could, I have blocks in it. So I'm going to leave that. Let me grab a scrap piece to put behind here. I'm on a table and believe it or not, I have used almost every square inch of this table just setting up for this live. All right, good. I got a nice crisp image using my designer series paper pack. So we are doubling up our, our uh, uses for our products. And let's glue this right on the inside. You know, we always have to stamp on the inside of the card because we don't want the party to stop on the front. Now I am personally in love with this evening evergreen. I think this dark green color is absolutely gorgeous. I would like to know from you though, what is your favorite new in color? All right, let's put our words back on here. Okay, now I have already done the die cutting so I did not have to bring my stamping cut emboss machine. These dies are super, super versatile. These are probably, not gonna lie, gonna be my new layers dies for my cards. And what I have done is cut two layers. I've cut one out of Evening Evergreen with this small scalloped rectangle. 
And then I cut another one out of basic white with the large scalloped rectangle. And I cut those ahead of time and I tucked them away in my shoebox. Now, often when I'm traveling and I do shoebox stamping, I'm making a whole bunch of cards. So think like I need a whole bunch of birthday cards for the year or I want to stamp my Christmas cards. And I kind of duplicate all my layers put them in my shoe box and take them with me. Or if you like to fussy cut, you can stamp your stuff or color, stamp it and color while you're on the road, something like that. Ooh, Melanie loves polished pink. Diana loves fresh freesia. We got another vote for fresh freesia from Sharon. Um, let's see, Gloria likes all of them. I really like them all. They go really, really well together, every single one. All right, so now with this pretty scalloped layer, I closed my ink pad a little too soon. We're gonna use this pretty flower from the bundle. And I'm gonna stamp that over here to the side, just like so. In my evening evergreen. And I'm gonna grab my scrap piece again and come in with my flower petals next. I wanna test the tone of these cause I don't want them to be too dark. Oh, those actually look pretty good. So let's line these up. These are not meant to be perfectly uh, lined up with your image. They are meant to go out of the lines a little bit like a watercolor. Those are my favorite stamps, so I don't have to be perfect. Ooh, we've got a vote for pale papaya. Vicki, we got another vote for pale papaya. Another one for fresh freesia. Robin loves that evening evergreen. You know, I didn't realize it till I opened up my evening evergreen for the first time, um, but I am loving using it for my flower stems and leaves. It's really, really perfect. <clears throat> Okay, I'm taking these color splashes from the stamp set and I've got my Smoky Slate ink here and I just randomly stamped them a couple of times to put a little splash of color behind my image. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see this. You see those splashes of color just like that. And next, I have to find where I put my ribbon. Here we go. I've got a brand new pack of the new, um, what is this called? It's called Open Weave Ribbon. And this stuff comes in each of the in colors. So I'm using the Evening Evergreen here. I get this plastic off, which is sometimes easier said than done. All right, and I need, I'm gonna wrap this around. I'm probably cut way, way, way too much ribbon here, but that's how I like to make my bows with too much ribbon, you know. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is fold this ribbon in half and I'm gonna poke it through one of these scalloped holes here. Now I want this to be even on both sides. So I am going to go up, let's see, I have a, yep, one, two, three. And I'm gonna stick it through that third little peek through hole from the bottom. just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Sorry about the shadow, everyone. What picture is under your wallet opener on the sweatshirt? Um, there's a Northland logo. So my husband bought this 
um, for me and my dad and my mom and him for our walleye opener. We all got the same sweatshirt. And in the morning of the opener, we were coming in from fishing and someone from shore yelled out as we were driving past in our boat, I love your sweatshirt. <laughs> so we were noticed and we got our first ever triplets while I open her picture with all of us wearing the sweatshirts. So I'm super excited that you asked me that question, Melanie. <laughs> all right. Tying this in a bow. You might not believe it, everyone, but I love fishing maybe more than I love stamping, if you can believe that. And I was real frustrated this weekend because my husband caught more fish than I did. And Rose doesn't like that when that happens. He usually doesn't, to be honest, but he's been getting to be a better fisherman over the years. If he's watching, sorry that I said you weren't as good, John. <laughs> he knows I get frustrated when he catches more fish than I do. But that's just how it is. I'm not using my usual scissors and these scissors are not very sharp. So I'm having trouble cutting this ribbon. There we go. This is what happens if you use kitchen shears. This is why we use our Stampin' Up! scissors. That's why the paper snips are such a good purchase. All right, let's see, where are we here? Um, Jody asks if I caught anything. I did. I caught, um, I, I don't know how many I caught, but this morning I caught one. Yesterday, I think I caught two or three. So it's been a fun weekend. We mostly catch and release, my husband and I, because he doesn't like to eat fish. We love fishing, but he doesn't like to eat fish. So we just do it for the fun of it. All right, we're going to assemble our card. So I am going to get my dimensionals, pop these up like so. And I wonder if I have an extra plate here to use as my garbage bin. I do. All right, you can use a paper plate as a garbage bin too. Okay, so I think the pop of the dark green against this white scalloped edge is just amazing. And we're gonna make it pop a little bit more with our dark green color or tone on tone stamp on paper. Tuck this right here next to our bow, just like this. So remember I told you this was a sweet, simple card. We're totally done with it. That was fast, huh? Oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that? Now, of course, you're gonna wanna make a whole set of these with pale papaya, fresh freesia, polished pink, and soft succulent. Um, I have some jewels around here somewhere that I can put on here. Yeah, here we go. Now these jewels, you get a pack of these in my color and contour class to go for May. I don't have my take your pick tool, so my mom was gracious enough to bring me over these really super pointy um, sewing scissors that she has. So I'm going to use those to take these evening evergreen jewels and put them on my card. What do you think of this set of cards? Gorgeous? Oh my goodness, I love using those little hoops to hold that ribbon. 
What do you think of that? Now, also in my May class to go, you're gonna get a half a pack of this designer series paper. Let me open this up. I have been using the crap out of this stuff. Um, it's really gorgeous. It's got the different designs. Of course, it's two-sided, like always, and all the colors of our in colors. So you get a half a pack of this in your May class to go, and you will get a full pack of those um, pretty jewels that I just used. Did anybody catch those? I did that kind of fast, but... These are absolutely stunning. They just, you can see that they shimmer and sparkle. And there is a row for each in color. You get a full pack of those in the class to go. And you get a full pack of these neutral colors, Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. Absolutely love this stuff. And how about a sneak peek of a few cards that you get to make in the kit? What do you think? I'm going to show you fast, so you got to be watching. All right, here's the first one. Gorgeous little ditty there. And here's another one using the pretty freesia. We had a lot of votes for freesia as everyone's favorite in color tonight. And then one using the polished pink. Absolutely gorgeous. That's just three of the six cards that you'll get to make in the pack. And you will get to make all of these cards with your stamp set that you have, especially if you get the in-color inks. So I wanted to show you something. I have one more card to show you using the bundle. And I'm going to get my stuff going here so that we can use that now. I don't know if you all know this or not. Let me clean these stamps off. But for those of you who haven't ordered my class to go yet, it's quite the experience. And I have a lot of customers reach out to tell me how thankful they are that I have packaged the class the way that I do. And so I just wanna show you a little sneak peek about what this experience may be. First of all, it comes in a padded envelope, which is um, coded for weather elements. And inside, um, I wrap up, uh, it might also, if you have an add-on, it may also come in a priority mail envelope, which is also coded for the elements. It comes packaged in a beautiful card pack with all the colors stuffed into their own individual envelopes so that everything is there. And it is, um, I just started labeling these because I've had some people um, not be able to get to making their kits right away and I want them to remember which kit it is. So I started labeling them recently as well. All right, the next card we have is going to be a fun fold card, an interlocking gate fold. And you're going to see that the color and contour bundle is absolutely perfect for um, making this card. Now, I've got a sample designed already that I'm going to use, but there's going to be some elements of just kind of stamping on the fly here as we go. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to pair new products with uh, a goodie, oldie book goodie from our spring catalog, the Dragonfly Punch. I did this on purpose because dragonflies to me are up north and lakes and fishing and fun. And I wanted to incorporate that element in. Now, you remember last week we used that hand pen bundle. Well, there is some coordinating designer series paper with that. And we're using some of that tonight. <clears throat> I've got some basic white, and I do not know why. Oh, I do know why I have this piece. I can't remember for a minute why I had that, but now I know. 
Um, okay, so what I've got here is a piece of mint macaron paper. I chose mint macaron because it coordinates with the pretty paper that we're going to be using in the card. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And instead of folding it in half, I scored it in from each end at two and an eighth. And I picked two and an eighth because that is half a four and a quarter. And when I close this card, I want it to be my standard four and a quarter by five and a half card. So you score that and you fold it, and I've already done that. And then I have a couple of layers here of the designer series paper. This is going to be um, an eighth of an inch smaller than five and a half. So that's gonna be five and three eighths. And then I took from my color and contour um, scalloped rectangles here in the dies. I took this third largest rectangle and I cut out a couple pieces of designer series paper, two of them, you need two of those. You could use the smaller rectangle if you want and you'll be able to see how that comes together in a minute. Char loves the hand pen paper. You know what Char, I do too. I think it's my favorite paper in the new catalog. When you see it in person, it's even better. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So, okay. We're gonna use my pack of designer series paper again so that we can stamp on the inside. And I picked two of the um, colors from our paper, uh, Mint Macaron and Highland Heather. So I am going to grab I gotta think about how I wanna do the inside here. I'm gonna grab our, this is my, I just absolutely love this little flower. I think it's super cute. So I'm gonna stamp that again. I know I did the same thing on the last card, but it's my favorite. And here is our scrap paper. So let's stamp and stamp. Of course, you could put a sentiment in there if you like. Totally up to you. All right. Now I am going to glue this right away to the inside of my card. Now, this layer is five and a uh, five and a quarter by four. That's the standard size I typically use for the inside of my card. And I pick that because it leaves a total of a quarter inch border to work with when I center this. And I actually might not have cut this right because it almost doesn't look centered, but it looks good. So I think we're okay. And now with these strips, I'm going to glue these down to the card front. Now we have two options. We can go with the flowers, like so, or we can flip them over and go with the purple. I think I'm gonna go with the flowers. So, get my glue going here. Who is getting up early tomorrow to order from the new catalog? <laughs> um, I think of it kind of like the fishing opener. You can get at the stuff you've been itching to get at for a while. I will be out in a boat tomorrow. Well, I don't know if I will be tomorrow morning. I think I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow. Gotten up early each morning. So I am gluing these layers down just like so. Okay, so you see how this is coming together so far? We're gonna open up our card just like a barn door or a gate and we're gonna see the inside. What do you think so far? Are we liking it? Now, you know I can't leave a card with out some sort of twine or something. 
on it. So let me grab my Baker's Twine Essentials pack. We get a full pack of this stuff in my May class to go. I'm so happy Stampin' Up! brought back their twine. I absolutely love it. You know that I have been using it like crazy on my cards. Char asks, where are you fishing? I am fishing in northern Wisconsin um, on Sioux Lake, it's called. Uh, we are, we like to walleye fish, so um, we are going for walleye, but you know, when my dad and I go out in the afternoons after I am done working, I'm hoping we can get into some crappies because I am looking forward to having some fresh fish for breakfast, and that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, the fishing opener is have a breakfast of eggs and toast and fried potatoes and fresh fish. Joanne loves mint macaron. You know what, Joanne? I haven't used this color actually in a while until uh, playing around with the hand penned suite. And I got to tell you, I kind of forgot how much I love it. And I was reminded in short order. All right, all I did here for this twine as I was yapping your ear off was wrap it around and tie it in a bow. And remember my tip, I always give this tip when using kind of thin twines, I like to tie it in a knot first. Because remember, John really, really loves me, but he isn't gonna come upstairs and put his finger down on my bows every time I wanna cut, I wanna tie bows. So I had to figure something else out, and that's what I came up with. All right, so I'm going to, I think, put that one on the top, just like that. And on this other piece, I'm going to do a little stamping, but I'm gonna use my evening evergreen here. And I want a sentiment for the front. What do we think? What should we do? Thank you for everything. I kind of like that. You can never have too many thank you cards. You're absolutely amazing. I love that. But to be honest with you, I think I've used that in every single card I've made out of here. So very happy for you. I think I'll do a thank you card. The other thing about mint macaron is how good it goes with this Highland Heather. It pairs really, really well with a lot of our colors. All right. Now I'm gonna stamp right on this designer series paper. So let's hope I can get this straight because I only have one piece of it. Ooh, good job, I did it. Okay, now, I thought that I had brought glue dots, but I don't see them. Oh, I know what I did instead. I brought these mini dimensionals, okay. I've got this scrap of basic white that I could not remember why I brought it. And then I saw my dragonfly punch and I was reminded, and we're just gonna do a little simple punching. I'm gonna punch these dragonflies out twice. So showing you how to use the stuff on your shelf with the new goodies that are coming in your catalog. Okay, what I'm going to do is grab a couple big dimensionals for the big, one big dimensional for the big dragonfly. We're just gonna leave that plain white, just like that. And get my little baby dimensionals out here for our little baby dragonfly. And it fits behind there, 
See, you can't see that. So we're going to put this on just like so. Okay, I'm going to wait on this one because I need to do some gluing down. So what I'm going to do is line these up and I am going to glue half of this layer. So let me grab my glue, put glue only on half, trying my best to line this up. And we'll glue that down. If you wanted to add a little bit more to these dragonflies, we could use these ink splotches too and ink those up. These are already, um, should we see what that looks like? These are already adhered, so I'm not gonna do it there, but I will grab my Highland Heather. and see about doing it on my next dragonfly. I'll stamp off. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. So I kind of love that and wish I had done it on the first dragonflies, but you get the point. <clears throat> Okay, and now what we're going to do is I'm going to glue this piece. I'm going to glue the other half of it down. So just run my tape runner on the opposite half. So for the bottom one, I glued the left. For the top, I'm gluing the right half. Get that down. And then grab my dimensionals again so we can put these dragonflies on. I almost put it on the wrong side. Hi, Sonia. Thanks for joining. Thanks for sharing. Same to you, Melanie. Oh my goodness, so many of you chatting with me tonight and I just got so into my card here. I didn't even look up till right now to I lost my little dragonfly. No idea where it went, that's okay, we can redo it. It's probably somewhere that I can see it, or I should see it, but I don't. Go. He's over here. Okay, so now let me clear some of this out of the way so you can get the full effect. Okay, our card is totally done and we've glued opposite ends of this together. So when we open it, we just kind of fold back on those outside edges. Aha, someone says check your sleeve. No, I don't think that's it. I see what you're looking at, but I don't think that's it. I don't know. Now you open it up. And here's the inside of your card. How easy is this fun fold? Okay, fun folds can be so simple. They do not have to be intricate. They don't have to be complicated. What do you think? Are you loving it? I'm loving it. Now, here's my design card that I was playing around with. I used our um, True Love designer series paper, the black and white, and I paired it with our Bermuda Bay and Melon Mambo. And check that out. I didn't do an inside yet, but isn't that awesome? 
Oh my gosh, these are so easy. And um, that color and contour, those dyes, add absolutely the perfect amount of design and bling. And you can use smaller ones too. You decide based on the element that you are trying to make what size you want to make. So those are all the cards I have for you tonight. Here we go. We got our interlocking gold. We've got our gorgeous set of in color cards. What do you think? Do you love them? I'm super, super excited for the new catalog to go live tomorrow. If you have any questions about that, please do not hesitate to reach out. You can shoot me an email at countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com. Um, I'm gonna spare you the bright light behind me that I turned on um, to stamp and I'm not gonna flip the camera around to say my good nights, but thanks again for joining me everyone. Remember, I am live every Monday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope that you can join me again next week. And um, I'm not sure what I'll be doing next week, but hopefully I have time to put something together for you. You know I'm going to be busy fishing. <clears throat> all right, guys, don't forget to share for a chance at that prize drawing, and I will be stamping with all of you soon. Have a great night. Bye.